So now I'm going to show you how you can use addition with the rectangles that we divided from yesterday. Um, so yesterday we simply counted all the squares, but we can use repeated addition to help us figure it out a little more quickly. It might help some people, it might be easier for some people to do it that way, especially when the, um, if the rectangle gets really big and it's divided up into a lot of smaller squares, it can be tricky to count them all. So it's easier to do repeated addition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many are in each column and I'm just going to add all the columns together. So here we have one, two, three, and I can see that all the columns have the same amount. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm just going to add all that together. So three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Okay, and I can check. Um, I have six columns, so I can check and make sure I have six threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna add all those together <laughs> to get an answer. Okay, so three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, plus three, and it can start to get tricky, so you might have to count up 12, 13, 14, 15, plus three, 16, 17, 18. So all together, if I add those, there's 18 total. Did we get the same answer as when we counted? Yes. Can you do it another way? Yes, there's another addition way that you can do it. You can count how many are in each row. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can do six plus six plus six. And we can do that, we can do that going down the side because six in this row plus six in this row, plus six in this row, and I can add all of those together. So six plus six is 12, 12 plus six is 18. Either way we do it, we get the same number. Down here, you can do the same thing. You can do repeated addition. You can count how many are in each column. So two plus two plus two is six, okay? Or you can count how many are in each row and add the rows together. Three plus three, which is easy. We know that one's a double stacked. Six. 